The 17 foot telescopic whip for ham radio. Amazing thing, man. These things are affordable and uh, really can do a lot with them. I use them a lot and I've learned a lot. I want to share what I've learned, some lessons learned, and kind of go over a few things. These, uh, these wonderful little telescopic stainless steel things can be used for. Stick around. Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video. I just wanted to talk about a few things. I get a lot of questions about these uh, 17 foot whips I have. I got a couple here. This is the uh, MFJ 1979 version. This is the chameleon antennas put there the chameleon antennas this is the cha uh, ss 17 chameleon uh, there's also uh, if you're in the uk the uh, moonraker mrq 213 they're all pretty much the same they're just uh 17 feet or 5.2 meter long telescopic stainless steel whips and they are awesome i love work operating and working portable with mine so many ways you can use them i mean one of my favorite ways and the way i use it most is uh, i have a ground rod stake with a mount on it and what i do with that mount is i uh, i screw it in at a uh at a, a counterpoise usually one towards the salt water and i let her rip a lot of times i'll leave it out at 17 feet and then I'll, um, you know, I'll, sometimes if I'm out, let's say with my FT891, 100 watts, and I, I'll, I'll bring it down, I'll measure it to a quarter wavelength. And I use these measurements and what I have for a quarter wave and, uh, and, and bring it down to a resonant antenna. It's pretty nice. One thing you got to remember about this, though, if you're measuring these things, if you're using a mount like this, the, uh, the bottom of the mount, the, the actual the threaded uh, insert where you put it, that's part of the driven element. You have to include that in the measurement uh, when you're measuring this thing at a quarter wavelength. And uh, something to remember, little tip and something I've learned the hard way. I'd, I'd measure this thing out and like, man, why do I keep having to bring it down another, uh, you know, 20, centim 20 millimeters or almost an inch to make this thing resonant. And I learned that the hard way. So um, if you're doing this and, uh, and, you, and you're trying to figure out why you always have the make it long and bring it down that's probably the reason why and you might be able to hit it dead on the first time another thing i like to use this on is a mag mount i'd use it on the magnetic mount on my uh my cars my jeep i put it on my jeep and use it that way a lot of times i'll leave it fully extended 17 feet and uh, use the atu just sit in the car and jump from band to band and that works out pretty well i enjoy doing that and uh it, it works as well a couple other things a uh, way i've used telescopic whips before is um the uh cha the the chameleon antenna their tactical delta loop they use two of these with a transformer into a ground spike um with a wire between them and creates a, a loop a delta loop and it's really cool i had a, a great experience uh, experimenting with that it was it was great as well another thing that i like is uh the fact that that delta loop uh unit the tdl delta loop also i can take it apart use their transformer with the ground spike and use it extend it all the way and use it as a multi-band vertical from 80 all the way to uh six meters up to six meters with it with an atu and it, it works out really well so that's another thing I, I i really do like about it you can also use this thing um as a dipole you could get a hamstick dipole mount and put it on put two of these on it and you can actually build a resonant dipole from 20 up to six meters uh, just by using it just by measuring it out and making it resonant so that's pretty cool another great way to use this thing again a couple things i do want to go over though that i talk about is when i'm measuring this thing out a lot of times what i'll do is i just use a tape measure uh, this is a pretty cool one i know chameleon makes one this one's actually the radio waves version of it but it is an antenna uh tape measure so at uh intervals you'll see it'll have the quarter wavelength as you go through it and uh for different uh frequencies half wave quarter wave or whatever so um pretty cool antenna what i don't like about this is that it's only in imperial u.s measurements and uh i don't like that at all but uh, the cool thing about it is so easy to measure you just uh i just bring it to it and go you know and measure it out until I get to where I, the the point where I want it to be, and I know that the antenna is resonant there. I highly recommend though, if you're going to do it this way, go ahead and get an antenna. Uh, get a uh, what am I getting at here? Get a tape measure. I'm sorry. That does both Imperial US and metric because you're going to find this an easier way to check yourself, especially if you've got your measurements and you know what they are. And it's kind of you can look down and say, okay, 
quarter wave for where I use it for 20 meters is 16 feet, four inches. That's about five meters, point, 5.01 meters. I'll look at it, it looks great. I can see both measurements on the tape. So as an American, it's nice that way. For you guys that are smarter than us and use the metric system all, all the time, um, it's probably even good for some of us Americans. I know I do it. To just use a pure metric tape and start thinking and doing it in metric. Um, one thing about Americans, I know we, uh, we, we usually only speak one language, you just speak English, but you know what? Some of us are, are bilingual in, in measurements. We also use the metric system as well. But uh, yeah, it's nice. I was something I would recommend uh, if you're a US ham, really start getting familiar with the metric system. But all in all, these things are just amazing. They really are. It's a nice little, um, I mean, they're not that big and they're not that expensive. It's nice to have one of these if you're operating portable because you can do so much with them, especially, um, it's, it's, it, to me, it's better than a wire. You don't need a mask. You don't need something to tape it to. They support themselves. Uh, stainless steel construction and they're nice and they work, man. I've made some amazing contacts with these. So um, get one of these, take a look at it. I'm not trying to push any one brand. There's so many of them out there. I mean, I. I'm real happy with what I have. I like the MFJ one, I'll be honest with you. Now that I have the Chameleon one, I kind of like it better because it's slightly shorter and easier to pack. And there, it's so you know versatile. I got other things I can do with it as well. Anyway, just going to put this thing by you real quick. I get a lot of questions about these, about using a 17-foot whip. Basically, the, it's very simple. Just get a tape measure, measure it out, make it resonant, and you can use it, especially by itself. You can use it from... 2017, 15, 12, 11, if you're a CB guy, and 10 meters, and then all the way down to six meters. The other thing you can do if you've got, say, a Wolf River coil or a real strong, sturdy coil, you can add that on the top, and it gives you, with the coil, you got 40 and 80 meters, or basically 30, 40, 60, and 80 meters as well. It's just so much you can do with it by itself, with a coil, with the accessories like the Chameleon has, and, and things like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'm an antenna nerd. I like to talk about antennas, play with antennas, build antennas, and, um, and do my thing on ham radio. If you're into that, please like and subscribe. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.